The Bitcoin and ETH whales are scooping up a shitload of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's see how that will affect the market. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and yes, wearing a sunglasses because I have this uh, wound here near my eye. I don't want any sun to see it, and I don't want you to be freaked out like a scary movie, <laughs> something like that, guys. Uh, after the weekend, it will all be healed. Now, in today's video, we have five amazing Bitcoin charts. Again, just like yesterday, but really amazing Bitcoin charts. Two of them that you really need to see today. Also a crypto tip, a very helpful one. And of course, answering a question of one of the followers, talking about the news, and of course, ending it with an inspirational quote on this beautiful, beautiful Friday today. Now let's quickly jump into the news to see what those whales are doing. The news for today, guys, the Bitcoin whales are accumulating a shitload of Bitcoins during that dip. In total, they accumulated 20,600 Bitcoins. That's 1.3 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin that was being bought by those whales in that dip. What do you think the reason is that they are buying that dip? Do you believe that Bitcoin is going to crash down and that is why the whales are buying? Or do you believe that those whales have a certain amount of experience and they know exactly when to buy before a massive pump in the Bitcoin price? I believe the second part, but I will leave up to you what you think. But believe me, if the whales are accumulating Bitcoin, that's a very positive sign. And not only Bitcoin, even the Ethereum whales were scooping up a shitload of Ethereum near that dip bottom. They bought around 240,000 Ethereum, which is around $800 million worth of Ethereum during that dip. Do you think that those Ethereum whales are retarded people that don't understand when to buy the dip? Or do you think those whales are very experienced crypto traders that really understand, ha, this was a dip, this is one of the last dips before the second massive part of the bull market, we should be adding more Ethereum to our portfolio. Please do your own research. But out of experience, I can tell you, if you look back into the last couple of bull markets, the moment that these whales are accumulating a shit of the Bitcoin, they still expect the second phase of the Bitcoin market to start. And just before that the top will be there, they will start to distribute their Bitcoins and their Ethereum into the market so they take profits. They will dollar cost average out before the bull market top. But when they're accumulating, you should be accumulating as well because this means we will see a beautiful rise in the price very soon for Bitcoin and Ethereum. That was the news for today, guys. Now that we know what the whales are doing, let's quickly take a look at the charts, how Bitcoin is reacting to that fact that the whales are accumulating Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's quickly jump into the charts, guys. Bam. And as used, guys, the first chart for today is, of course, this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see the indicator and we can also see something very interesting that there is a lot of resistance at the moment here at this level, 67,000, a lot of uh, resistance. The next level of resistance is 69,000 US dollar. After that, there is not much resistance left. Go, it's a little bit here now around 71, but this huge area of resistance we need to break that because else we will fall down to the next level of support, which would be somewhere around 63, 64K. So it's very important that we start to break this resistance. Now, is this possible? Yes, this is definitely possible because let's, uh, let's go back, for example, to the one hour chart just to show you one more time. Look here, we are fighting that same resistance level at this level over there. Now that took from 10 a.m. in the morning on the June 24th, till over there, June 24, 12 in the evening. So that's like uh, 12 hours in total. And we were from around 66, 70K, bam, above 70K again. So yes, this can happen very quickly. Here as well, we can do the same. Maybe we're even creating a W pattern on the one hour. Like for example, this could become, if we bounce one more time to there, a W pattern which is amazing because that would mean that we are now creating that bullish move back here again to that 69K level, which would be amazing trade. But that's the reason why I opened the trade and that trade is already in profit, as you can see over here in that beautiful image. Now, 
you zoom out to the day channel. The day channel gives you a way more relaxed zen feeling. Why? Look, look what we are doing. And um, if I would draw a line now, for example, here a horizontal ray at this level over there where we are, then you will understand why we are finding support over there. Maybe I should make that line a little bit more big, like there. For then you can see, and we make it um, beautiful yellow. Now. The reason that we are now there on support is because there was a resistance level over here. There was a resistance level over there. There was a support level over there. Here was a resistance level for a couple of days. So this is an important level for Bitcoin. And we are finding support on this level, which would be beautiful if that would turn now into a massive run again, if we keep support. If not, yes, we can fall back into this pattern but let's go for the support over here. Let's go a little bit more sideways and then back up again to 70k levels and maybe even higher. There was a question yesterday. Hey, Didi, how's the Gaussian channel doing? That one is doing amazing, guys. Please, guys, be aware of these lines over there. I drew them with sloppy hands. It was just to show you, hey, yes, the moment we go into that Gaussian channel, that's a confirmation of the bear market. That is not going to happen in March 2025. Um, so there's these lines. They are not like really drawn uh, in time. They are just like to show you, look, if we go above that Gaussian channel is beautiful. The moment we cross into it here again, that is the start of the bear market. We are still above it and we are going to go and create more distance, I believe. And then, of course, these lines, I will delete them because people will think, hey, uh, it's going to be an end in 2024. It's not going to be an end in 2024. Gaussian channel is fine. Now, let's jump into some other charts. This is the first one. This chart is showing us there is a lot of inflow of new accumulation addresses. So that's beautiful to see. There is uh, people buying Bitcoin all over the place. And the most of the accumulation is done by the wills, guys. These are the wills. These are the people that hold more than 10,000 Bitcoins. Look what they are doing. Since we are dipping, they start to accumulate massively. There is a huge spike in, in wills adding more Bitcoins to the portfolio. So yes, it's important to understand that that always happens here. Like we can see the whales starting to accumulate before that bull market top. Here, they accumulate before the bull market top over there. They start to sell also into the market before the bull market top. But when the accumulation starts like this, that's a clear sign that we're going to go into the second part of that bull market, the steep part that will lead to euphoria. This is a very busy chart, but on this chart you can also see that those whales are accumulating Bitcoin, but they are not hodling them on exchanges. At the moment, we can see, if you look really close, here this orange area, that's a supply on exchanges. But you can see here this huge drop down to this level. At the moment, 942,000 Bitcoins are on exchanges. The last time we were as low as this, was December 2021. We're talking about December 2021. We need to be somewhere like in this area over there. That's the last time we were as low as this with the Bitcoin and exchanges, guys. So be aware that people are smarter and holding their Bitcoins more and more off exchanges in self-storage, self-custody storage. Ethereum at the moment 17.9 million Ethereum on all the exchanges. The all-time high is 29.8 million in May 2020. Ethereum is increasing, as you can see. More and more Ethereum on the exchanges. Then we have, of course, USDT on exchanges. In total, 16.04 billion Tether on exchanges. That's almost a new all-time high because the all-time high is 16.95 billion in July 2022. In July 2022, there was already the bear market, but there is more tether being held on exchanges at the moment, and it's still increasing. So, tether is increasing, Ethereum is increasing, but Bitcoin is decreasing. Less and less Bitcoin on the exchanges. Probably one of the causes is that more and more Bitcoins is being held as a spot ETF, guys, but who knows? But what we can see is less and less people are prepared to sell their Bitcoins, and that's why they move them from the exchanges in self-custody wallets. Then we have the Bitcoin energy value chart, guys. The Bitcoin energy value. At the moment, the Bitcoin energy value is at 82,253. The SMA is at 80,000 US dollar. At the moment, we are with a price around 68,000 US dollar. Now, 
Look to the left on the chart. In the bull market top, we were always above that red line with the black one, above the energy value area. Also here, 2017, we peaked high above that energy value lines. 2021, we were above that energy value lines. We haven't been above these lines yet. We need to go above it and stay above it for a couple of months. That's always happened. Over here it happened, over here it happened, over here it happened. We are now fighting that level. We are not even close to the level, but we are trying to reach the level of 80k and fight it. Just like we did over there. In the beginning of that bull market in 2020, we were trying to reach the level and go above it. And when we did go above it, bam! Here, same thing. Fighting to come above that line. Again, fighting to come above the line. And when we came above it, huge run. Here you can see the same. Fighting in the beginning, and then bam! We are now starting to fight this line. And then we will go above it, and we will find a new all-time high this year. And yes, a bull market all-time high top in 2025. One more chart, guys. On this chart, you can see the all-time high, and we can see how many days we are fighting that all-time high before we break that fully and go above it. Here it took 48 days. Here again, we made new all-time high over there. And now we were fighting it here in 2020, and we broke it after fighting it for 21 days. Now again, all-time high. We are fighting that all-time high, and we are taking already 87 days now to break it. Why is it taking longer this time? Because here it was a single blow of top. Not that much volume was created over there, so it didn't take too many days to break that volume, that resistance. Here the same, it was a blow of top. Not too much volume over there, so we were able to break it in 48 days. Because there was not a lot of resistance. Here, there's a different story. There's a lot of volume being created as we had a double top. So a shift of people created volume over there by buying and selling, and that will now lead into more resistance, and that's why it's taking 87 days. But there will be a moment we break that resistance, and we will see a breakout, and we will see new all-time highs after that. And it could be 100k, it could be 150k, it can also be 300k, it can also be 500k, we don't know yet. But when we break it, there will be a massive run, and then you should be in it. You should be accumulating at these levels. Just imagine you accumulated at that level. How happy you would have been with tripling your capital. How happy you would have been over here with almost times 20 of your capital. These are the last moments you will be able in this bull market to accumulate Bitcoin around these prices before we take off. And yes, we are going to take off. I hope you really enjoyed all those charts. Yes, of course, short term, beautiful trade opportunities. I opened the trade again yesterday. I also shared it in the Bitcoin Family VIP group. You can see here the trade is not on a massive profit, little profit, but maybe the target should be 69K. Then we will take some profit over there. Again, guys, long term, we know that we should be accumulating Bitcoin at these price levels. We know that we are going to go into a second part of a bull market probably after the summer, probably the summer will be very boring, or like boring, you can really trade like 60 to 70 to 60 to 70 to 60 to 70, maybe even to 80, come back to 70, like this kind of moves in the summer. But after the summer, I'm talking August, September, October, November, December, those months are always bullish months if you look back in the history of Bitcoin. And those months will lead, I think, to the first time ever that Bitcoin will go above 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So these next couple of months, yeah, accumulate as much as possible because we will go above 100k and then in 2025 that last part of the bull market will start and that will bring bitcoin to 120 maybe 160 if you need to believe all the other influencers maybe even to 500,000 us dollar per bitcoin let's see i just tend to be a little bit more bearish because i want to be happy with everything else that happens after my target now let's jump into the crypto tip The crypto tip for today, guys, is about exchanges because I get many questions about that. Now, we have a few different types of exchanges. Of course, we have a centralized exchange. That is Binance, that is Bybit, 
that is, for example, also Blowfin, that is Kraken, that is Coinbase. These are centralized exchanges. They have a CEO, they have a board of directors, they have a complete team, they are working in a centralized way. The only possibility for you to trade on these is if you send your crypto to that exchange, to the wallet of the exchange. And the Bitcoins, the Ethereums, and all the altcoins will be on that exchange. If that exchange collapses, like FTX, then you will lose access to all your cryptocurrency. That is a centralized exchange. Now, then we have also exchanges that you use for swapping. That's PancakeSwap, that's Uniswap, all of these decentralized exchanges that you can use to swap. That's one-to-one -one swapping. You cannot set an order, like I want to buy this token at that certain level. No, you can only swap that token to dollars or to another token at that same moment that you're swapping it. You cannot put buy or sell orders for the future in those exchanges. Then we have a third option, and these are decentralized exchanges that are built with an order book. And that is, for example, Apex Pro. My favorite one, by far the best decentralized exchange out there. Even the dog is agreeing with me. You can hear him barking down there. But like Apex Pro, there is a decentralized exchange that does allow you to put orders in, buy orders and sell orders for the future. So you don't need to swap it at that same moment. You can just put buy orders in just like you put buy orders in in Bybit or Binance or Blowfin or any other centralized exchange. So Apex Pro is a combination of a centralized exchange and a swapping exchange that we have the combination that is Apex Pro. You will never be sending your Bitcoins or Ethereum or any other altcoin to that exchange. They will always be on your own wallet and you will be trading from your own wallet. So you connect your wallet, software wallet, just on your iPhone or for example MetaMask on your laptop or for example your ledger to Apex Pro to be able to trade on an exchange but the moment you stop trading you disconnect again and your bitcoins and all the other cryptocurrencies will be on your own wallet if apex pro would collapse in the future that really doesn't matter because you still have full control on your tokens i believe that decentralized exchanges like apex pro will become more popular every and each cycle because there will be a lot of KYC, AML regulations to the centralized ones and people just don't want to do that. They just want to keep their crypto anonymous. So that's why they will be forced slowly to trade more and more and more on those decentralized exchanges. Now the best news is that even these decentralized exchanges like Apex Pro are evolving. Apex Pro is soon, very soon coming out with Omni. And Omni will again put a new layer on a decent exchange with possibilities that you have never seen before on a decent exchange. So I'm not gonna make this video too long, but if you wanna understand what Apex Omni will mean for the market, but also for you, then please use that link down below now to sign up the Apex Pro, a decentralized protocol, a decentralized exchange, and check out what they are doing at the moment with Omni and what that will mean for you and trading. It will be huge, but you need to check it for yourself. Always do your own research. Now, let's jump into the next part. The next part is answering a question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, if I use that Palau ID that you always talk about, would that also mean I don't need to pay tax anymore, for example, in Belgium? Now, first of all, I am not a tax advisor. Second of all, I am not a financial advisor. Third of all, I'm just Didi. Now, but if it's up to me, you know, if you use a Palau ID to trade on Bybit or on Blofin or on Binance or on any other exchange, then those numbers that you're trading over there with an anonymous Gmail account with that Palau ID will never come to Belgium. Belgium doesn't know that you're trading on those exchanges. If you use Blowfin, you don't need to do KYC. You don't need to do proof of address. So use the link down below. At the moment, there's a special bonus to Blowfin. Yes, you can get 10% of your deposit, but also win a Rolex or an Apple Vision Pro or a MacBook or AirPods or an iPhone, many things. But that is an exchange that you don't need to do proof of address and not even do KYC. So if you open an account there with a Palau ID, who knows? Nobody will ever know a side of those exchanges. And those exchanges are not talking to your tax company in Belgium or the Netherlands.
because they are not obliged to do so. So why would they destroy their clientele? They don't want to do that. They want to keep you as a client. So they will never give your data to those tax companies. At least that is what I believe. I don't see any reason for Bybit or Blowfin to send your data to a tax company. If you're a criminal and if you're doing huge scams or if you're funding terrorists or whatever it is, maybe then they would be sending your data to, for example, the police, but not to your tax office. Why would they be doing that? As long as you keep your money out of the system, you are in control. As long as you keep using our money, Bitcoin and other cryptos, they are out of control. You are in control. The moment you start to use their money again, exchange Bitcoins to Euros, then they will take control again. Then they will see, hey, where is this money coming from? That money came into his bank account. Huh? Well, how did you make that? And then they will start to search if you didn't pay tax on that money. But they are not going to search like all the millions of clients, all the world and all these exchanges and these exchanges. Ah, let me see. Maybe uh, this person from Belgium has some Bitcoins. It's impossible for them to do. It's a too big of a task. So they won't do that. I think most people should step a little bit more outside of that box and don't believe that they are really there to catch you. So yes, please do use your Palau ID to sign up to, to those exchanges to be able to trade the way you want. And if you take shitloads of profits, there's many, many, many legal ways to avoid paying taxes in a legal way. So in this text, you call this blasting ont duiken, but that's not the right phrase. And it's called in the Netherlands and in Belgium, blasting ont wijken. Blasting ont wijken. And that's completely legal. You can, in many legal ways, avoid paying too much taxes in your own country. That is what all the big corporations in Belgium and the Netherlands are doing. They are not paying too much tax in the Netherlands and Belgium because they have this whole Christmas tree set up all the way into Panama foundations and all that stuff, guys. But it is also possible for a private person to do in a very simple way. If you want to know more about this, there is a link down below this video. You can plan in a Zoom call for free and you will be educated by a company called Corporatio and they will teach you everything on what the possibilities are for you to not pay too much tax as a Belgian, a Dutch guy, a German guy or whatever. So just to use that link down below, click it and you set up a Zoom call and you will be educated a little bit more. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. And the next part, guys, is again the last part of the video. It is the inspirational quote. The inspirational quote for today is becoming the best version of yourself comes with a lot of goodbyes. What does this mean? This means if you really want to become the best version of yourself, you do need to say goodbye to a lot of friends that want to keep you down, to a lot of friends that want to keep you from traveling, to a lot of friends that want to keep you from chasing your dreams. Because most people are boxed in a way that they don't want to think about freedom. They are afraid to think about freedom. They are afraid to take life by the balls. So they do not want you to do that because then you would become a very bad mirror for them. Because if you would grab life by the balls, if you would chase your goals, if you would chase your passions, if you would do what you really want to do, they would start to feel bad. They would be like, ah, but he is doing it. Why can't I do it? You know that feeling, that feeling of envy that a lot of people in this world have. So if you want to really become the best version of yourself, you will be saying goodbye to a lot of those people. But the most beautiful part is that you also will encounter a lot of new people and new friends that will be supportive, that will be helping you in chasing those goals, in chasing those dreams. Because there is a shitload of people that want to live to the fullest, that want to really discover what their full potential is. There is a lot of people in this crypto industry because they're all free-minded people that have other goals than those people that are running that hamster wheel every day. You should surround yourself with those people that are also chasing dreams, with those people that are also changing goals, with those people that also believe that they can contribute to changing the world and make it a better place. Don't surround yourself with all those naysayers. Say goodbye. Goodbye. That was it. It was a beautiful friendship. We had beautiful times. I still love you. 
but I need to say goodbye because I'm going to chase my dreams. And my dreams are probably too big for you to understand. And that's why you are, you are pulling me back and you're keeping me down and keeping me grounded. But I want to start flying. I want to start flying to the moon, to those goals, to those dreams that I really want to achieve. And you know why? Because I have the potential to do so. I am good enough to reach those goals, to reach those dreams. I will be able to do it. I'm going to achieve them. And you know how? By taking the first step. And that first step can be a huge leap, a huge leap. But when you take that leap, you will see that there is more to life than staying stuck in that hamster wheel surrounded by those people that really want you to stay running that hamster wheel. And I'm not only talking about governments, you know, that, that make you poor and because you become poor, you need to keep running that hamster wheel or the banking system, you know, that, that the whole elite world that is working against you, not only talking about them, I'm also talking about your best friends, your families that want to keep you close, that want to keep you in that cycle because most of them don't want to see their best friends become very successful because that would be a reflection to themselves. Of course, there's always friends that would not envy you, that would be very happy for you. And you also say goodbye to them, but you keep contact. But to all those other people, please leave them behind. Leave that be the past. Please move on to the future. Start to live today. Start to surround you with those people that also want to support you in achieving your goals, chasing your dreams and all the other positive things. Start to surround you with those kinds of people. And where do you find those people? Not in your home country. You will find those people all over the world in those places. And for me, for example, Bali, Phuket, Tulum, Praia de Carmen, this is where all free-minded people live together, like separated in all the houses, but they will have huge connections over there because of their meetups and all that stuff. And they all think different. They all are thinking in positive ways. They all are thinking bigger, way bigger than we were taught to think on schools. So my quote for today is, if you want to become the best version of yourself, start to say goodbye to all those people that keep you from becoming that best version of yourself. That was everything for today, guys. I wish you an amazing Friday, an amazing weekend. Hopefully after the weekend, my eye is recovered again and I can be on screen again without uh, sunglasses. It's getting less and less, so I think after the weekend it's okay. In the weekend, I'm not gonna promise you that we'll do a live. If I am into it tomorrow and Sunday, I of course will do a live, but I'm not doing any promises because I had a hard, busy week of working and I do need to take some time off now and then. If I will do a live, you will see it tomorrow morning. It will be around 10 o'clock. And if I will do a live on Sunday, it also will be in the morning around 10 o'clock, guys. Now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day, an amazing weekend. Hopefully you use all the links down below my videos, not only to sign up to exchanges, but also international insurances, travel tips, many other things you will find in those links, guys. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bye.